Hi everybody. Hello, hello. I am actually doing this video. This is Saturday, beautiful day. It's in the evening and I'm about to show you a video attached to this one <laughs> um, that I did a uh, latter part of this week um, just to show you a little walk in the garden with me. But I thought I would just um, come to you before because I didn't do a proper intro and I apologize for that but I'm actually doing it now and um, those of you that are watching me for the first time I'm Susan and I may repeat this <laughs> this part in the other video but those of you that are watching I'm Susan and this is Garden Interest welcome to my channel um, those of you that have been watching thank you so much and here we are again on a beautiful day. I am feeling a whole lot better, guys. Um, those that weren't watching me and may not have been watching, I was down sick with COVID. <sighs> and that was, it was, a, it was a long week. But thank God I am doing a whole lot better. My voice is still not 100%. But listen, guys, I am feeling really good. So I'm grateful. Thank you all for those that uh, have been praying for me for a speedy recovery and it did work your prayers were answered thank you so much um, but I wanted to come before the video because I did uh, with all my excitement in the video you'll see when I when I attach it to this when I'm done here you'll see the whole video you'll see that I was so excited about this particular plant and i'm going to turn the video around very shortly and it's my lipstick plant i was so excited about my lipstick plant that i end up calling it an orchid i'm sorry about that guys it's not an orchid so please do not get confused those of you that do not know what an orchid really is or haven't seen an orchid and may think this is a special kind i'm sorry but there's a plane about to fly over but i'm going to turn the video around and just show you the plant so there's no confusion there and then we'll just go on to the video so this is the plant this is the lipstick plant that i was referring to so just wanted to just bring this little insert guys to let you know that's what i was referring to so let's get to the video to hide very well. <laughs> These babes don't want to be seen. I'll try and go a little closer. I hope I didn't start with them. They're, they're watching me, you know. They see me here. They are our the Cayman Islands parrots. And they just always come and feed on this tree when it's covered 
covered in the food that they love so much. You see them poking their heads out. looking at me. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> That's what they do. They come, they feast. I'm not sure if I can get the other one, but I'll try. There he is, but he's kind of hiding. You see him moving along. And he's climbing over. This one is probably a better view for you guys to see. And I'm standing approximately, I would say maybe, maybe five, five feet, five, six feet away. Maybe a little longer, a little bit bigger, maybe 10, 10 max, away from where he is. He or she, can't see whether it's male or female, but they come in twos, and it's usually a male and a female, and they tend to travel in their twos. Sometimes we get them uh, more than two, in their twos, sometimes four will come, but in most 99% of the time we get two of them at the same time and oh boy they don't like to share if they're both on the same lips they're not happy campers so they if you notice one will be on one side of the tree and the other will prefer to be on the other side of the tree so yes that's Share this video with you guys so you can see as I was taking a morning stroll in the garden and I saw the birds we saw um, doves flying around and then I heard the parrots and there they were but I was actually coming out so I could show you guys what's some orchids that I saw that was in bloom. You see, he keeps looking at me. Because <laughs> he's he just putting up his safety guard. And his, I'm standing still, so that's why he feels comfortable um, enjoying himself in a tree and well, I'm gonna step away not to startle it and I want to show you what I saw that was in bloom from my window looking into my garden and this is what's blooming today Gorgeous. It's one of my fowls. And this is actually the kiki that's growing off of its mom. This is the mom down here. And this is the kiki. And you can see the stem that's just coming off of the kiki. Let me show you a little closer. It's coming off the kiki. And that's what we're getting. The mom, she's also putting out her buds. So this is quite a show for me here. And I'm gonna turn around the camera. Oh no, I missed this one being sick. But it's on its way out. It's dying. But this is one that is not so bad. It's still, still got a decent look to it. And I saw another. It's a very small, small bloom. 
very small. Tiny, 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 tiny. And I'm going to try and get it away from. I'm going to try and go as close as I can. And I hope you guys, hope you were able to see that. And I'm going to walk a little more and see if I find any more surprises in terms of what's in bloom. This one had quite a few on it too. And I missed it. But at least you can see it have quite a bit of blooms on there. We had some around this side as well. But she looks like she had quite a bit because there's quite a bit falling off already. So this is... I'm missing out, guys. I am missing out. Not good. Here is some more that's, that was in bloom. There's two that's fading. Let's take them off. So you can see them a little better. I take away from the sun but these don't open up fully guys but this is how they they bloom this is not them when they're fading they just come out like this they don't open fully and they just look like like I would say <laughs> they kind of resemble upside down um, tulips don't they somewhat but they're orchids <laughs> and let's see if there's anything else I'm going to try not to go straight that way because the sun is pouring in and I don't see any more oh yes I do see one more that is in bloom for right now like oh I see another yes look ain't it gorgeous so I'm in the Catalea garden guys and <clears throat> sorry I'm still getting over this COVID thing And there's another, don't see any more on this side. Yep, nothing's happening here. I just got one that started to open up here, but we've got tons of spikes, guys. Look. Tons of spikes. We got another one that's right here. And if I can take you even closer, look at the number of spikes that's coming out, guys. This one's starting to open. And there are tons more that's lower. Like, for example, that one. That's getting ready to poke their heads out and show us some beautiful blooms from this one. We've got this one that's actually, look at that, it's actually in bloom for us at the moment. Let's try and so you can see it. There you go. So that's four on there. Oh, there's nothing much happening other than what I just showed you in the Catalina area. I love this one. So it doesn't give me too many um, all at once because it's a smaller orchid. But it's, when it does, it gives me one or two flowers. All right. 
Just taking you on a walk with me. Hopefully I'll see something else new that catches my eye. I don't want to go this way and bother the parrots too much. But from what I can see, we've got some blooms happening there. And they are beautiful. If I go closer, they may get startled, guys, in this section, which is more of the dendrobium section. But it's not too many new ones in bloom from what I can see from here in this direction. I can zoom in a little to show you that the orchid I planted out into that pot is still doing great. And I'm just basically zooming in guys so you can see. I'm going to try and go around the other side around here. There are some blooms happening on this. Yep. And I won't go this close either. Ooh, there he goes flying. Ooh, yeah. Let's see if I can zoom in now. You can see both of them together right there. Look. They're watching me because they're they're just so mindful of ooh, there goes one. Ah. <laughs> I just love to watch them guys. If I'm boring you with this, I just love to watch the parrots. And when they fly, they fly away. With their wings are so gorgeous. And now that they've moved over there on the other one, let me go back over here zoom back out and see if we see anything new this is the one that we planted out guys it has going through its shock it's going through see what happened with this one don't worry it's gonna bounce back they always do they always bounce back and it looks awful now but it's going through its um, acclimation and eventually what will happen is once you get used to it it'll just start growing back again at least that's what we hope <laughs> in most cases it does for me so I wanted to show you guys this so we have these that are in bloom. You can see that there's something picking at this. I'm gonna have to pay closer attention to what's going on there. And this is the other part of it that's blooming, guys. Look at that. Gorgeous, isn't it? And then we've got this beautiful, beautiful yellow yellow one up here. Try to get as close as I can so you can see it. And then we have those in the back that are always in bloom for a long time. Nothing new right here. We've got one or two fowls that are Putting out some spikes. Let me just extend this some more, guys, so I can show you a little closer. We've got, that's not a focus, but yeah, we've got a spike there. There's one opening up there. We've got another spike happening here. And then got some fowls here as well. 
They're actually starting to fade and drop. But we've got quite a few um, spikes. Again, so look at the parrots too. They make a mess, but I love to see them. They make a mess. Sometimes they naturally prone the tree, <laughs> so to speak. Ah, some people will say, "Oh, they're just damaging the plants," but they're that's what they do. That's what they do. This is looking nice as well. It's actually growing beautifully in there. And there's a spike of the Cayman orchid. It's like a banana orchid. It's a yellow one. It's known as the Cayman Brack. Banana orchid. When it's opening, hopefully I'll be able to get to show you its flower. Oh wow, this flower, guys. Look at this flower. These are the orchids that's on here. We've got tons of spikes again. Tons of spikes happening. And these are the older ones. They're starting to fade. But look, guys. We've got step back so you can see how beautiful it looks and the sun is the glare is there but just so you can kind of get a look it's beautiful we've got big spikes going on here with this banana orchid here I've got it tucked into this beautiful pot but these spikes guys are huge they're always They're like going all the way up into the tree. And there's another one happening right here. And it's going all the way up as well. Way, way up there. We've got spikes of promising blooms also on here. You can see we've got a few on there. And we also have some that is starting to spike over here. All of these are, these are the purple ones that's on the tree here, these here. Purple flowers. And still don't have anything, looks like it's going on with the grammatifolium as yet. We've got some orchids here, but I only see spikes on this one. So we have, we have, even though there's not too many flowers in bloom um, from the orchids, we have some spikes. So we'll be seeing some beauty soon, guys. We will. I'm just, like I said, walking around just a little bit this morning, trying to get a little bit of vitamin D from the sun. So I thought I would come out, share my walk with you guys, and show you what may be in bloom. And over here, we have This one is some is dying off there. But that's a nice purple one as well. Oh, let 
me show you this. So this we have here, but it's got quite a bit of spikes going on as well. So I'm actually just one spike, the rest have already finished up. the other it's very close she's got like four spikes going on let me step back so you can see that guys she's got four coming out of her look at that one there two three four. actually it's five one two three they so got four and five there five Beautiful spikes coming out of her. Let me try and show you a little closer view. So if you notice, this one has more of a purple, and this one has some brown tips. You see that? So that's the difference between these two. They're very close in similarities, but different in their own way. I won't turn that way because of the sun, the glare. But yeah, guys, I think this will be it for this video. I could possibly go and have a look at the lipstick plant with you guys again and see how that's coming. My husband, oh, I can see it from here. Oh my gosh, guys, look from the distance. <gasps> oh, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Oh, M. G. <laughs> Look, guys, isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Oh my goodness, I'm amazed. This is the first I've seen it with so. Look at this. I mean, just look at this. Ooh, wee. I don't know. You guys let me know if you like this lipstick plant and if you have one I know that there's another color out there my sister-in-law has one and she that's how I actually became knowledgeable of this orchid yes and she I bought this one and then she's like where did you get it and she got one as well because now she has two different colors and i would love to get the other colors in these but guys it's not fragrant and i wish it was because the way in which this is just like beautiful i absolutely love this i'm trying to get around so you can kind of get them around if i have some chairs in the way <laughs> oh this is so pretty so so pretty beautiful i'm gonna just zoom back out so you can see from this angle beautiful 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 all right guys i'm not gonna bore you anymore with this <laughs> But yeah, everything is looking beautiful in the garden. This is the tree we planted and it's doing great. It's doing great. The plants are doing all right. Yeah, they're doing okay.
okay we don't have any vandas that's in bloom and this is the plant the cast iron plant it's doing okay it's not doing bad it's doing okay all right guys i am going to Say goodbye to you all I am not in this video not showing you myself in this video simply because I wanted to more have you focus on the garden and see what's happening and yep we've got beautiful things happening we've got even mangoes We've got blossoms on the mango trees and the other one over there, that's a Julie mango, that one is a East Indian and we've got the knees berries on that going on and we've got some blossoms also on this mango tree here which is the carry mango so we've got some stuff going on guys <laughs> hopefully they'll hold because it's been extremely dry and um, so we're just hoping and praying that we'll get some mangoes this season based on what we see which will be lovely It'll be absolutely gorgeous to pick and show you guys how the mangoes look again so much glare try and turn the camera this way so you guys can see as I walk back to start my day I have to log on for work but just wanted you guys to see <clears throat> the beautiful garden how peaceful it is in the morning so peaceful good way to start off the day guys if you have your garden be sure to get in your garden and enjoy the beauties that you have your plants your flowers your foliage just embrace what God has blessed you with. Mm -hmm. so I, love, so I love that thing. I think that's what's eating my orchids. Those. I'll have to watch, come back and see what happens with that. But yes. That's it, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in again and for making this a wonderful, wonderful channel. Thank you for your comments. Anyone that has subscribed, <clears throat> sorry, since my last video, welcome, welcome, welcome. And keep encouraged, guys. Keep being beautiful my lovely peeps <laughs> and y'all have a blessed blessed day night evening whatever time it is in your side of the world wherever you are and take care for now bye everyone